dear friends today we look at the relevance of these uh, many international institutions including un all these institutions primarily the un was created after the second world war around uh, 1948 49 roughly now the order of 70 years is over so there is a time has come for the uh, world powers to relocate it at that point of time they appointed uh, sort of self appointed shall we say except china which was uh, uh, you know strongly recommended by nehru uh, for the uh, five member security council and they have all got the veto powers this is something very interesting over a long period of time we have been observing whenever anyone's uh, uh, interest is affected they will do the veto of the uh, resolution sometimes it is also helpful to some countries who are aligned with uh, some of the major powers for instance during bangladesh war there was a resolution against india and that was vetoed by russia this goes on and uh, the sovereign countries are uh, uh, you know the army is sent by usa nato and various others under the uh, resolution of the un sometime even out of syllabus out of the resolution of un also these uh, countries uh, send forces actually there is a 1999 speech of uh, tony blair very interesting he said the sovereignty of the nation is a very an outmoded concept and uh, it is uh, uh, what one can call the right of the western countries to do the regime change he openly gave the speech in chicago and that has been very much appreciated and that is what is being followed so united nation also one can loosely call it today is a talking shop in the day time and it is a large uh, uh, global pub in the evening there is uh, no other importance and uh, many people may not even know who is heading the united nation and uh, it is supposed to uh, be the guardian and other thing all blah blah and most of the powers do not have any uh, respect for the uh, speeches or for the resolutions made there and recent uh, events in uh, russia and ukraine as uh, further uh, what one can call exposed the organization the united nation also has got lot of these uh, uh, chota ones under various garbs uh, one is that famous wuhan health organization otherwise known as the world health organization and these are all controlled by several uh, power groups for instant when ebola ebola came it was named after the river as ebola virus when a pig virus was in japan it was japanese encephalitis but wuhan has uh, distributed this virus all over the world it's not called wuhan virus it is uh, rather called very interestingly corona or uh, covid 19 and other thing that only shows the power of china hold on the organization not only it did not uh, allow it to be named after that it was not also encouraging uh, the scientists and the investigators to visit the wuhan laboratory and they visited it they were taken around a conducted tour and then you know and then quietly told you go back even today world health organization has not come out definitely how come this uh, virus came out is it uh, from a lab is it from animal is it intentional is it unintentional nobody knows and uh, these people when they went people who are uh, in india who have gone to tirupati will know what i am talking about and uh, before you read the uh, lord vengadeshwara's uh, uh, murti uh, idol in the garbagriha uh, the fellow will say jaragandi jaragandi go away go away because he has to deal with millions of people and you cannot uh, so you may be given 5 seconds or 10 seconds to uh, look at the lord same way the scientists and the professors and experts were treated at ohan laboratory that is uh, the story of this uh, uh, one of the uh, you know organization the other organization is highly humorous actually it is called united nations uh, uh, under the united nation aegis it is a human rights they are supposed to protect and preserve the human rights in the world and uh, it is under rotation and uh, every country you know in europe in africa in australasia are all representing there but the most uh, black humor of that whole thing is 
uh, it has uh, members uh, who are in the council, who are in the uh, what one can call their uh, uh, small group, which is supposed to monitor the global human rights are uh, hold your breath. Saudi Arabia, China, Cuba, Pakistan, these are some of the countries which are represented and they were supposed to protect the human rights in the world. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. I rest my case. Thank you.